Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to go online to H7 1200 CPUs, okay? I connected my Ethernet cable to CPU and in the TIA portal we will go to online and diagnostics area and in here I will show you the accessible devices. In here we need to select PN, IE and for the PG, PC interface we need to select Ethernet card driver, okay? And then we can say start a search. Now it is searching. And also, we can go to control panel, okay? In the control panel, you will see connection Ethernet, and in here, you will see Ethernet. In here, you will see IPv4. And in here, in the property area, you need to select take IP address as automatically, okay? This is the first thing. And then... We found out the CPU in here, and I will say show. After I click show, what will happen in the portal view, we can see this PLC, okay? The name of the PLC is PLC underscore one, okay? This is the IP address, and in here, program blocks that we can see in the main OB, we can see the program inside of the CPU, okay? You can see this is the program in the CPU. And what can we do? We can create a new project and we can upload this program from the PLC to my computer. New project is created now and I add new device. And in device area, you can select your CPU type from here or you can say unspecified CPU and in here you can click this one and you can say OK. And you can also check the version number to for example 4.4 or 4.0, it doesn't matter. And the device is not specified because we d didn't select it the correct CPU. I will say detect. And we will detect this CPU once more. The main OB, okay, it doesn't matter. It is searching now. And we found it and I will say detect it, okay. And I detected this CPU and this CPU will be appeared in here. Now we can go to main OB. And in this CPU, main OB is empty. You can see it, okay? And how can we upload this project to here? So we can go online to go online area, and we can go online, or from here, we can go online. And I will say again, search once. Firstly, we need to go online to the CPU, and then we can take a project from the PLC. Now, I will say go online. Now we are online. So, now you will see upload from device, button is activated. Dear students, if you want to learn PLC programming effectively and professionally, you can learn it with the Darstagram. If you go to Udemy, if you search in here Darstagram, you will see my four courses and then we are creating a new PLC programming courses and the next things. First of all, if you go to um, complete Delta PLC programming course, you will see 127 lectures and 14 total hours course for Delta PLCs. And in Omron PLC programming, you will see two different uh, software. 6.1 plus Sysmax Studio software is included to this course. If you go to in um, right side, you will see 10.5 hours video tutorial, okay? And then 14 articles and etc. And if you go there uh, a little bit down, you will see complete sections and whole HMIs also. And also you can read, you can see Siemens PLC programming basics and the Lenza PLC programming basics. The Lenza is the first course that ever created uh, in YouTube, in Udemy also. And there you will see like a codesys, okay? A lot of course points in Lenze. If you go to course sections, okay? You will see Lenze PLC programming basics and also industrial automation basics like a power supplies and relays. And these sections are always updating and also control circuit basics and etc. and gifts. If you want to reach to these courses with the lowest price, you need to go to 
darstagram.com okay and then you will see these courses uh, rich course buttons if you left click to omron plc programming uh, rich course button you will see lowest price coupon is added to here okay if you go to for example lense and then you will see lowest price coupon is added to here okay so you can reach to whole courses with the lowest price coupon via darsagram.com okay and you can learn plc programming with us see you in the courses i will click it and we will say okay continue upload from device and okay and now it is taking project from the cpu and in the program blocks area you will see everything is similar okay you can see this is the project that we searched and that we found and we upload it now to here to project 2 and all of them is green and that means for the comparison everything is correct and now what can we do for example we can do a monitoring now we can activate take 2 modify to 1 okay this is an output and we have an output in here let's take a look a little bit more closer okay I need to adapt my like this maybe I need to show it to you here you can see we have an output okay and let's go to tia portal again something is wrong monitoring okay it doesn't matter and again cannot be started this is an error already another using the monitor for block okay so this is working we have an output and i will adapt it like this okay very good so we got the cpu uh, we got the project from the cpu and we connected and we can say go offline and we can say go online again and we have a project so we cannot to search again anymore and directly we can go online okay i will try once to monitoring and again modify to zero okay now it's zero the output is gone let's search once our cpu in here okay there is no output so this is how can we go, go online to siemens s7 1200 uh, plc's and how can we take a backup from plc i am finished for this video see you in the next video